bearing the Kenyan flag and with weapons in hand. Long-awaited police reinforcements have arrived in Haiti, bolstering the new Prime Minister Gary Connie, who is determined to see the country freed from gang violence. Finally, we can see that the international force is here to support us and our police force. So we're going to start working little by little to regain control of the country. But I want no one to doubt the purpose of the mission. The state will regain power and reaffirm its authority so all Haitians can live peacefully in this country. The mission led by Kenya is the first any African nation has led outside of the continent. It was first requested to the United Nations by Haiti's former government nearly two years ago, but has faced multiple delays in part due to Kenya's opposition parties calling for the country's security needs to take precedence before foreign commitments, and in part due to political turmoil in Haiti that was exacerbated nearly four months ago when gangs united to coordinate attacks on the capital Port-au-Prince, storming prisons and firing on the international airport. Gangs control 80% of the capital and their widespread killing, kidnappings and violence has led to the displacement of over half a million people. Their leader, Jimmy Cherizier, who has constantly warned against the mission, recently suggested he is open to dialogue. But aid groups are concerned that the gangs will respond forcefully to the mission, that clear objectives have not been outlined and that the Kenyan forces are ill-equipped.